Hello beautiful people, I'm here today to talk about honesty, but not any honesty, it's about radical honesty. Radical Honesty is a book written by Brad Blanton and there's lots of other information in many places, not just in the book, but on in the internet. And it's a wonderful, not only concept, I'm just starting to practice it in my life and I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to unfold. But it's a concept about being totally and radically honest about how you feel, about how you think, about yourself, about other people, and to yourself and to other people. And when I mean radically, it's like 100% of the time. So you're not really hmm, pretending, being nice, being polite and lying, because that's lying you know, when you're not saying what you're thinking in that kind of situation. But it's really saying there and then what you're thinking about what's happening or about the person who you are with. But it's not um, a way of... Because some people make, get mixed up and think that radical honesty or saying what you really think is, is unrespect, disrespectful or uh, is rude. And this is not the idea here. The idea of radical honesty is so you express taking ownership of what you're feeling and what you're thinking and you do it in a respectful way, in a loving way that of course we never know how the other person is going to react and it's totally out of our control and it might be in a way that it's not pleasant and we don't really um, like that behavior but that's their business and our business is just to know how to receive it so if you are committed and if you are really into uh, wanting to, to have that connection because the honesty will create connection and real and true connection, not just superficial, superficial connection, not just uh, the connection that you have in relationships that you can say uh, so, 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 uh, so some things but some other things it's better to keep quiet because then I don't hurt you and you don't um, dislike me. So that's not the kind of relationship I'm talking about with radical honesty. I'm talking about deep relationship connection. And that requires openness, vulnerability, courage, because as I said, you're going to say things and you don't know how other people will react and that's okay because that will create the connection <clears throat> and not the superficiality. And my daughter was telling her, as she's a teenager, uh, about radical honesty because I'm so enthusiastic, you know, with the book and with the concept. So I was sharing with her and she said, but what do you mean radical honesty? How can you <clears throat> just go around and maybe see someone and tell them you actually don't like their dress. You think they don't look good in that dress. She said, that's terrible. I said, well, that's exactly what it is. Because then you're not being uh, a, um, a pretend thing. You're not wearing a mask. You're really saying what you're thinking. Uh, and that's, that's what I think. You know, a lot of people might think this is crazy or this is uh, out of control. But I think this is what it's really uh, freeing because then I'm not suppressing what's really true for me and it, it's outside and actually when I said that to her she went quiet she maybe had kind of considered it for a little fraction of a uh, sec uh, of second there who knows but so my invitation here is for you not to go and do it well you might want to and I think this is wonderful but just to really stop and think about how much are you honest and how much do you still lie to yourself and to other people and how what do you think about it how do you feel about it just this first observation and no judgments i'm just proposing it as an exercise uh, and i will come back after a month to share my experience i don't know if i mentioned it at the beginning here but i'm going to start a 30-day radical honesty challenge and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't think radical honesty is about 
hey, I'm telling, saying my truth and everything is fine. No, I think there's lots of uh, feedback that I'll probably not like and that's okay too. I think that's part of the going out there exploring, uh, but out of those um, not so nice times and not so nice or painful maybe experiences that I might encounter, freedom is the biggest gift. Freedom and true connection. Connection to myself, connection to others, connection to God and connection to my essence. So thank you for watching and I do wish you a beautiful time with truth and honesty in whatever way you find is the best for you. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.